Hey kittens! Silver here, and today I'm going to be doing a review video on the Uni Toys Caracal Plush. That's one of those names that always kind of throws me for a loop. I, I always feel like I'm mispronouncing it, but I believe the correct pronunciation is Caracal. Uh, I've heard other ways of pronouncing it as well, so they may be as equally valid for all I know. But um, anyway, this is a really uniquely beautiful Wildcat plush. There really aren't a whole lot of Caracal plushies on the market, and this was by far my favorite of all the ones that I'd seen, which was a pretty small sample size, um, <laughs> admittedly, but, um, but this particular one just had, I thought, the most gorgeous and beautifully detailed face of any of the other ones. So uh, I was really lucky, actually, to, uh, to have been able to scoop this one up, too, because, uh, it was, um, it was on an eBay, I think it was an eBay Germany listing, and it was the very last one that the seller had in stock, and I do not believe that they've, um, come back into stock since, which is very unfortunate, but, um, but luckily I was, uh, I was able to, uh, swoop in at the opportune moment and add this beautiful cat to my collection. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of an overview of this plush. So I actually still do have the tag attached. Um, funny enough, there's not a Uni Toys logo on here, but you get the item number. So it's a 40 centimeter caracal with belt. Um, the belt thing actually refers to the harness that it originally comes with, but I decided to remove the harness because I just don't feel that it's very suitable for wild cats. It, for dogs, it makes sense, but um, but for wild cats, not so much. So um, so it does come with sort of a just a brown fabric harness, which is sewn into the body, but um, with a pair of scissors or um, a seam ripper, you can just snip those threads, which is what I did. Uh, I think it was there was one attached to the back and maybe two attached to the back. But anyway, so um, so he's been freed of his harness and now he has his own little snazzy bandana. It's just sort of a neon purple animal print number that he's got, which uh, I think is definitely an improvement. And uh, so he's a 40 centimeter uh, cat. So that uh, equates to approximately 16 inches or so. So I believe that's referring to his height. So this is actually, um, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but uh, it is a deceptively large plush. Um, so, so yeah, about 16 inches from foot to the top of his ears, if not a little bit more. And I would say probably closer to 18 inches from his nose to his back end. And then, of course, you've got the tail, which will add another few inches on there. And let's take a look at his tush tag. There's the Uni Toys logo there. So it's a German brand. One of my favorite brands as well, by the way. Um, and Caracals are also often um, mistaken for lynxes. They are actually called the desert lynx as well. But um, they're a completely different species of cat than lynxes. They're, they're not actually true lynxes. But they do share, I guess, certain similarities, mostly with the tufted ears. Um, but unlike lynxes, uh, caracals have no markings on their coat whatsoever. So it's just this sort of nice, uh, sort of beigey, sandy color. And as you can see, he has the white fur underneath and down his tummy and very very beautiful airbrush markings on either side of his muzzle and you got the little whisker marks and some markings around his eyes and again he has those really beautiful golden sort of expressive eyes and there's some airbrushing here on the inside of his ears as well and he does also have uh, plastic whiskers which are sort of a transparent color, so um, they're a little bit they're a little bit bent out of shape, but um, because they are sort of see through, you really can't tell. So that's not a big deal. Um, but this guy was actually a Chris not a Christmas a birthday present. Uh, I want to say maybe two years ago or so, going on three. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's been that long already. But um, so I named him Keaton. And he is definitely a favorite of mine. Really, really grateful to have this plush. 
uh, and I would highly recommend him to any Wildcat plush collector if you're able to find him. Um, hopefully Uni Toys will consider re-releasing this plush, or it would be great if they actually would make like a floppy laying version as well. <laughs> I would definitely be all for that. Um, but regardless, this plush is definitely, um, definitely a nice one to add to your collection uh, if you have the opportunity. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing Keaton, my caracal, and I will see you next time with the uh, with some more plush adventures for you. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Bye.